I love Tatum. You didn't eat her breakfast today. Yeah. I didn't have breakfast today. <laughs> <laughs> you almost didn't yesterday. Yeah. She yeah, ate half of it. I've my food two times now. <laughs> Yours just tastes better than everybody else's. Just feel like Goldilocks. Good morning, Tatum and I and Millie. Say good morning, Tatum. Good morning. <laughs> We're gonna go check some chickens. Millie's super excited. She thinks she's going somewhere big. It actually feels pretty good out here. Hello, buddy. here uh, I just left the barn I'm out here in the playhouse now there's a big cobweb kind of going through I'm going to clean out I think we'll get rid of our windows I'm afraid a kid's going to come in here and their hand go through that but um it's kind of sad it's the end of an era we are not going to do our Christmas event this year we uh I'd already kind of been talking about that just with the kids getting in high school and things being a little bit crazier and busier and just wanting to slow down as much as possible. So um, we are gonna take that time out and enjoy these last two and three years of basketball with our kids and just, uh, you know, be more present at home and all that stuff. So that's the plan, no Christmas event. We will still do fall festival with our church. So I'm just kind of going through and uh, getting stuff cleaned out and things that we don't need to keep around. Some things we'll uh, take for the, to the school for my uh, leadership and my team teachers leadership classes to decorate with for Christmas. And I don't know. We'll see, figure out what to do with all the rest of this stuff. So anyways, just cleaning out and going through stuff and it's getting hot. So probably about finished for today. But we, last Friday, I've been a little bit MIA. Last Friday, my family um, got some pretty devastating news, is devastating news um, with a family member on my side of the family. So, um, we want to spend all our time with family and um, just soaking them up. So we want to definitely have our schedules clear of events and things like that. So, But we still got all the farm life going on. Still have our church events out here. Still have our youth group out here. We're just, the only thing we're changing is the Christmas. So, and who knows, maybe one day kids graduate, it'll be back. But right now... We just need to get stuff cleared out. So that's what we're doing. And checking my chickens. Ch eggs are slowing down just a little bit this week. We've only been getting like three to four, but it's gotten really hot again. End of next week, they're saying possibly some cooler weather. So hopefully we'll get a little reprieve at that time. There is a breeze today, which is nice. So anyways, it's where we're at. See it or not? It's right there in the shade. I think it's a coyote. She came across Johnny's field. It's going to the pond. No. She's going to that tree over there. That's kind of a long way, so it's, it is going to the pond. Johnny's pod though, why is it going towards us? Let's okay, I've never been worried before, but with that over there, so Millie's, here's the pond.
over there, which is a little ways, but there's Millie. Millie! Come here! Come on! It will eat her. Oh, there it goes. Millie, what you got? I hope it's not a snake. Okay, my flowers here have started blooming again. They're doing good. Look how big these are getting. The hanging plant made a miraculous comeback. This one over here. Had a... Uh, Somebody comment on one of my shorts was asking about um, our wainscoting and our wall in the house. So I'm gonna give you a quick tour. This was my great grandma's. It came out of the church that I grew up in before they got newer pews. Now they have chairs, but anyways, the plan was to redo it, and I may still go ahead and reseal it. But after my dad came and looked, uh, it's going to take a lot to completely redo it. Which, I mean, we could, we could do that, but somebody, somebody's done some interesting work on it. But imagine all the things that this pew has seen. It's older than I am. I love it. Anyways, it sat on my great grandma's porch as long as I could remember. And then they sold her house last year. So it's mine now. I was the only one with a porch big enough. Nobody wanted to see it. You know, not not used. Alright, walking in the front door. It's our little dining room, kitchen in there. Dan's got stuff all opened. But we had a table made. It was actually my shop teacher from high school. Remember, my mom runs an estate sale. Some of y'all know that, and some don't. But so my mom and aunt and dad and everybody, they have an estate sale business. One of my cousins had an estate sale, and they had this church pew, and nobody bought it. So I bought it on the um, half-off day. This quilt, my uh, great-grandma, the same grandma that had the pew, she made that for a wedding gift. So I set that out in the springtime. And then this came from, somebody was throwing it away actually. And mom was like, do you need this? I said, uh, yes. <laughs> Dan built my hanging shelves up there from old barn wood from his grandpa's place. A lot of the stuff came from uh, grandparents, great grandparents, you know, and then we've got pictures. Dan's family, lots of them were educators. So his great grandma had a lot of books and then his great aunts. His mom's a teacher, his aunt and uncle. This was my grandparents' barn. This was right behind the house I grew up in. But this past spring, winter, we, where this line is up here, we added on that back part of the living room. So our house did stop right there. Added this, our chain, our fireplace was there, but we rotated, it was um, set like a catty corner. Now it's squared off. We added these windows. 
it's been about what a 10 year process probably <clears throat> we did just a little bit at a time as we could afford it so we added the back porch and then added the roof on and then added that part this was my aunt's my mom and i redid it it was a wedding gift but we did <coughs> bless you we did this years ago so the most traffic comes through here and this used to be like our breakfast nook so there was lots of prints on that so what we did was we took tin from from this barn it's no longer there but that tin right here is from that and then some of the wood came i believe from dan's grandparents place but our back door is right over here so lots of little fingerprints over the years and all that and my mom actually was like hey you ought to put some tin up there so that's what we did and i still love it and then we've got it all the way across over here Waiting to see what we're going to do. <laughs> and on top of our cabinets, I used like these were my great grandma's. That was a great great grandma's. This was another great grandma's. These were Dan's grandma's. So we just used stuff from repurposed most everything in our house. Not everything, but a lot. Save some money, huh? Money. Okay, we're going back to work. The full house tour is on further back. And that was before we had the add-on. So about a year ago, I guess. I think it says DIY farmhouse or maybe it says farmhouse tour. Anyways, um, we built the house, our, house ourselves with uh, the help of friend, friends and family. So... Um, we talk about that on the other video. So you can go back and see that. And then we did the add-on ourselves too. We did have somebody help with the uh, support beam just to, just to be sure because it was bigger than any project like my dad had ever supported. So he was, he was a little leery of that stance. So anyways, the rest of it we did ourselves. That's how, that's how we built this house on teacher salaries. And uh, we've just done a little bit at a time as we've gone along and saved up for it. So we are heading out to do some more work out in the playhouse and get cleaned up for, um, get all the Christmas stuff cleaned up and then make room for our stuff. Just found a black widow under there eggs. We have found so many lately. We have the house sprayed, but out here, it has not been. Y'all be careful touching that stuff. There might be brown recluses and black widows. Katie's Oh, and a wasp. Ah. <laughs> Did you hear that? Yeah, went right on my ear. <laughs> you are too. <laughs> Help him grab that. I 
That one's Katie and Derek's. Maybe. I'm not positive. Is that our old one? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Oh, I thought that one over there was. No. Yeah. Christmas trees today. Yeah, I do. So many trees. Just kill all the wasps up there. Gonna stay on there? I think so. I think, I guess what I'll do here in a little bit, I'll take this Yukon back and get my Tahoe and hook up the trailer. Okay. You wanna go shoot while we go in? Sure. It's a lot of trash. That's gonna put a lot in the dumpster. She ready to go. Okay, there's some big wreaths in the law. Let's go get those down and we'll take those to the school too. Sound good? Yep. Okay, do it. Okay, wreaths are up there in that corner. Put them down and out of the way. room for fall festival stuff. Got all our junk out and then should be easy to get to. Getting ready to haul that over to <clears throat> some of it to the dumpster, some of it to the school, and then um, Christmas at the prairie is no more. It's kind of sad, but here we go. Man, we need some rain bad. Do you hear that crunching? Yuck. Our grass is officially dead. Hot. I'm gonna go check the chickens again, make sure their water's still good since it is so hot today. And they've been laying their eggs a little bit later. This morning they didn't have any out there. Got the house all ready. Just got a few more things to do. Get ready for um, coaches and their family to come out tomorrow. Well, it was a hot, sweaty day. It's very hot. <laughs> And we just realized, looking back and watching, how loud the cicadas are right now. So, I'll have to use our GoPro next time. Maybe I can block out some of that noise, because they, they are really 
loud. They're going crazy right now. <laughs> yeah. We were wondering if we were going to have any because we kept hearing that they were going to be bad this year, which they're like that every year. I don't know if they're worse or not. Couldn't see any of them. Couldn't see them, but we could hear them. So, kiddos are with us. Say hi, guys. <laughs> we are heading to meet Dustin, Dan's oldest brother. We're going to go eat at what? The baked bear. Baked bear. It's a dessert for us to try out. And then his boys are getting baptized tomorrow morning. So we are meeting up with them and then heading straight. We'll be staying for the baptism tomorrow morning and then um, heading back after that. The boys went with us to church camp this summer too. And they had gotten um, saved right before camp at their church. And then just kind of grew their faith even more, I think, while they were at camp, and we're excited. We're proud of them. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a fun day. We're excited. Good day. We all, we're excited to go celebrate them. Then heading straight back home, and uh, coaches and their families are coming out to the house tomorrow to hang out, and then um, it's gonna be a busy week. Back to school life. So. We, uh, I'm sure we'll have some Millie footage here and there, though. Some shorts. I'm sure. <laughs> She's always doing something fun. So, anyways, we, um, we'll get a video out again. And we'll try and get some of the stuff going on with, uh, welcoming coaches and teachers back and staff and all that. And just kind of, uh, prepping for... The first day of school. First day of school is next Thursday. So here we go. Here we go. You ready? No. Summer's too short. <laughs> it was short and lots lots still to do, but we'll get there. <laughs> we got a lot to do so. It's alright, we'll get there. We'll get there. It's it's happening. Yes, it will happen. You can push it off till next week. Be a popular guy. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. Not with parents. Yeah. Kids would love them. <laughs> Kids and teachers might be excited. I don't know. Well, we hope you guys have a good and godly week. God bless.